गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम कौन से वर्ष पे हम नाइनटीन हाँ तो स्टडी वे लुकिंग है शब्द शक्तेर चिंत्यवाद शब्दा देवा परोक्षदी सुषुप्त पुरुषो यद्वत शब्दे नैवानु बुद्ध्यते एंड द अटेंशन वाज बीइंग ब्रॉट टू द पावर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड इन सम मेनी प्लेसेस इवन इन अवर सनातन धर्म आल्सो फर्स्ट केम द वर्ल्ड एंड फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड केम द क्रिएशन and how did that happen first what is the natural sound what is the word of the ishwara oh from om came the vowels the friction between the vowels created the consonants consonants combined together to form the words words form combined together to form the shlokas and if i if if you know or don't know like the कॉन्सनेंट्स दैट वी हैव क ख ग घ ग च च ज ज य ठ ठ ढ ण त ध ध ध न प भ भ भ म य र ल व श श स ह ईच अल्फाबेट इज एन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ क्रिएशन क मीन्स कला क ख मीन्स स्पेस ग मीन्स गति घ मीन्स घर्षणा एंड इन दिस वे एवरी एल्फाबेट इज एज इट केम इन टू एक्जिस्टन्स with that that aspect what it represents in the creation that also manifested and when the whole creation collapses it goes back to om and that om is not which one you which you chant it is the constant hum if you close your ears you will hear it mm, continuously between your two ears you will hear that sound that is the sound of the space that is the sound of creation even the scientists are coming to that uh conclusion now that some extra information but here here it is and yesterday we also told you that the study of scriptures when we study the scriptures that is how do we want to program our mind we want to program our mind with the words of the scriptures if scriptures scriptural words are too much for you to understand just hold on to om that's it because om in, is inclusive of everything and automatic transformation will start happening you take uh, uh, you take patanjali yoga sutra you take uh, uh, our uh, uh, shiva sutras whether you take uh, upanishads katha upanishad uh, uh, or any other upanishad or you take any scripture everywhere the mantra that is given for you to connect with the divine is om that om represents the creation on one side and at the brahman the reality on the other side in om if you chant a uh, continuously the whole waking world will be under your power if you chant u uh, continuously you purify the dream world and become the master of the dream world if you chant m um, continuously you bypass the deep sleep state and you come to abide in the absolute truth so in this way uh, the chant chanting of om also is there is a there is a way in panchadashi it is told pranavam dirgha uchcharyam mano rajyam viliyate so how another word for om is pranava some people name their children also as pranava they they name it, name them om om also so pranava dirgha uchcharyam so you chant the om elongated way and what happens as a result of it mano rajya mano rajya means the un default thinking that is going on in your mind kya 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 kuch na kuch chalta rehta dimag mein all that subsides then how you have to chant it short breath in and long breath out Om 
focus should be more on the mm, to not too much focus on a and u a u to apne ye to yog mein kahi batate hain a u ma that is for understanding but when you are pronouncing never pronounce a u ma you are just doing om and never focus on breathing in breathing in is a reaction breathing out is action so without focusing on breathing in it will automatically happen when you breathe out completely don't breathe out also so much ki uske baad then rhythm will not happen so you keep om om pranavam dirgha uchcharyam mano rajyam viliyate so this is another bit of info and here we are saying we are deeply uh, the study of scripture changes the earlier notions of the sadhaka uh, in the right direction if you just chant om automatically the transformation in your life your orientation of your life your take of life everything will start changing for the better <laughs> provided you don't go to sleep when you are chanting om <laughs> so do it in the right measure don't overdo it don't elongate it too much create a rhythm within yourself so that you start enjoying it and always remember when you are chanting the om it must lead to the it must conclude it must conclude into silence then see the magic happen it's not that i am saying it every master has practiced it hmm? Every mantra, Om Namah Shivaya, begins with Om. Om Namah Narayana begins with Om. Om Aim Rim Shrim Klim begins with Om. And many masters say, if you're chanting Om Namah Shivaya, as you keep chanting, the Shivaya drops away, then Namah drops away, then only only Om. But you slowly from many to one. That's what is happening. And in this way, now we come to the nineteenth verse. आत्मात्म विवेक आत्मात्म विवेक ज्ञान निर्मल ज्ञान निर्मल गुरुना बोधित शिष्य गुरुना बोधित शिष्य शब्द ब्रह्माति वर्तते शब्द ब्रह्माति वर्तते आत्मात्म विवेक ज्ञान निर्मल गुरुना बोधित शिष्य शब्द ब्रह्माति वर्तते आत्म अनात्म विवेक न विवेक मीन्स डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इट इज अ फैकल्टी ऑफ योर इंटेलेक्ट इंटेलेक्ट डज द विवेक योर सेंसेस डोंट हैव एनी विवेक योर माइंड इज टू फिकल to make any decision decisive conclusion so it is also there also vivek cannot be practiced only in the intellect only in the intellect the faculty of discrimination expresses and what is discrimination discrimination is not whether i eat soup or i eat khichdi this is not with discrimination do i continue sleeping or go i go to satsang this is not discrimination discrimination means atma anatma vivek atma the self anatma the not self atma the constant anatma the changing atma the happiness anatma the unhappiness see the atma the infinite anatma the finite continuously being aware of the atma in comparison to anatma this is the vivek continuously going on so even while listening so when we yesterday we talked about this 18th verse about the shabd or, or or before that shravanam where what did i say the words of the teacher are riding on consciousness 
and the listening is happening also because of consciousness. Consciousness meets consciousness, knowledge happens. Exactly the same way. And what are the words? They are continuously coming and going. The consciousness is not coming and going. Consciousness is constant. Okay. So that is the way. The absolute pure knowledge is gained by discrimination between the self and the not self. A disciple instructed by a guru, guruna bodhita shishya, a disciple instructed by the guru alone comes to transcend the words and attains the meaning of the meaning of Brahman. Brahman means infinite consciousness. Atma means consciousness with reference to this body. But this Atma and Brahma, Brahman is one. Therefore, Upanishad say Brahma, Brahma, Atma, Aikya, Bodha. Where Brahma, recognition, realization that this Atma alone is the infinite Brahman. So, here it says that this disciple, who is a disciple? <laughs> disciple is who feels he is limited. Guru is he who knows he is uh, infinite but playing the game of finite. Who is disciple? Who needs to change according to the instructions of the teachings or the Guru Maharaj. Who is Guru? Who inspires the teach student to change? He can only inspire. And how can he inspire? By his words, by his actions, by his, uh, by his uh, uh, continuous motivation uh, to generate the interest in the disciple to become perfect, be perfection. That is all he can do. But in the end, Shishya, the student, alone has to do it. Hmm? There are... Uh, People say, oh, Shirdi Sai Baba did not have any guru. Huh? Uh, people say, many masters did not have a guru. Mahavatar Baba did not have a guru or some like that. But then they have their Sadguru. That Sadguru is, that guru is never outside. That Sadguru within alone appears as the guru outside to prompt you in the right direction. And that guru appears in your life only because you are not ready to be available to the guru inside. <laughs> that is the reason. Because we want to outsource all the time. That is, the, uh, that is where we are in today's society. Outsource. So we want questions, 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 questions. We don't have the patience. Are bhai, jahan se, where the questions are coming, fr coming from, there alone the answer lies. But we want it quick. I, I want to sort all my questions and then I will meditate. Then, I'll, then I, I know if I am in the right path. Why not get the answer from within? If the teacher from outside gives you an answer, you will still not be convinced. Because some other, one, some other teacher will come and he will say something else. Then now your question, your confusion. Which guru? So you have to find your own answers. But initiation has to be done. In here, whether the initiation is done from within or the, by the Sadguru within or the Guru outside, it is okay. But initiation has to happen. Some people have never been initiated by any Guru and yet when they are sitting in meditation, they have been practicing something and automatically the Om Garjana begins from inside. It usually lasts for two, three days. And when that Om comes, waking, dreaming, sleeping, inside, outside, that Om is going on. And they go, they don't know what is going on. These things happen. That is your initiation into Om. You don't need, you didn't need a physical teacher outside. And even if you need, if you get a physical teacher outside who guides you, it must lead to that. <laughs> It must lead to that, just like Ramakrishna Paramahansa. Hmm? But isn't it Guru Shishya Parampara is a question? No. No. But Guru Shishya Parampara. Is asking questions. Huh? Bhagavad Gita is Arjuna asking questions to Krishna. Yeah. 
yes you can say it is a question answer because shiv parvati also parvati asked the question therefore ramayan began parvati asked the question therefore uh, the uh, the uh, uh, vigyan bhairo began na huh? so question answers they happen but transformation should happen we must not be focused on our questions we must be focused on our conclusion so sometimes one answer is enough if you are available so one answer is available enough but people sometimes we have experience people are addicted to their questions yes. every teacher they come across they ask the same question you know i have been thinking about this question for so many time so many years nobody has been able to answer that question he is addicted to that question he doesn't want answer because he loves his question so much ये प्रॉब्लम हो जाती है एंड मेनी टाइम्स वी सी पीपल गो थ्रू द होल टेक्स भगवत गीता उसके बाद फिर वही कर्म वट इज वॉट इज कर्म शुड आई बी डूइंग माई ड्यूटी अरे वी डिड वी वेंट बियॉन्ड कर्म वी वेंट कर्म संन्यास वी वेंट ध्यान वी वेंट भक्ति वी कम अंडरस्टूड ऑल दैट एंड नाउ यू आर गोइंग बैक टू बेस बेक बेक टू बैक टू जीरो Swami ji, I am confused. Should I be doing uh, what should be my duty? Are? So, I mean, you were not listening attentively that time. You were not alert. You were not more than alertness. You were not subjective. You are not applying it on yourself. I told you before also. Arjun was asking, but he never repeated his question. Arjun was listening, and he never did any sadhana. And merely by listening, transformation took place in him. conviction happened and he came to a doubt free disposition uh, uh, at the end and when krishna told him now have all your questions and doubts been questions been answered and doubts been removed he says i have got no doubt anymore and now i'm ready to do what you tell me to do and you think krishna is going to tell anything for him to do no. he has to decide because the what was the problem problem was he was in the battle middle of the battlefield and he was becoming a brother uncle daughter son grandchild shishya battlefield is a place where there is only enemies against each other you are a warrior you fight so you you can determine your position at any given moment in this battle of life if you are in the present moment if you are in the past or in the future lost the plot <laughs> arjun lost the plot crisis happens come in the present moment clarity comes and then you deal with what is coming in front of you at that moment uh, a disciple instructed by guru alone comes to transcend the words and attains <laughs> the meaning uh, that is brahman atma is consciousness and anatma is matter we always in english they use the word spirit and matter isn't it what who are we we are a combination of spirit and matter what is matter that which is continuously changing what is spirit that which is never changing another word for spirit consciousness another word for it atma not jivatma atma mature discrimination between the two leads to dispassion so the more we keep thinking about who we are am i the matter meaning am i the body which is changing am i the breath which is changing am i the thoughts which is changing i will get caught up in matter i will become a slave of matter but if i keep thinking the body is changing breath is changing thoughts are changing concepts are changing waking is changing dream is changing deep sleep is changing every day but i am the same one i don't feel i have changed the more we become alert about this unchanging principle to that extent your interest in the world will start diminishing you will still be alert but your interest will start diminishing you will still be living there will be a little bit of speed bumps ki oh if i am getting dispassionate then how will my family work if i am if i am losing interest in family will i do my duty or not these are common questions that come but if you have faith in the ultimate everything will work out those questions are coming in your mind those speed bumps are coming in your mind because now you are ready to handle them no difficulty comes in your life 
without you without uh, your ability to cross that hurdle a cyclist will never a person who has always driven a cycle will never have the challenge of how to maneuver a car <laughs> isn't it he will never have the speed problem because cycle can go only at maximum 40 50 60 speed usse zyada nahi ja sakti but he, he will never have the 100 uh, km per hour speed ka problem only when you are qualified for, a, for driving a car then you will have the problem of 100 150 200 because the speed limit is there isn't it same way same way. whenever have this attitude that if any challenge has come in my life it means i have the ability to overcome it also so you have to dive deeper into it yourself you have to have more faith in the divine you have to be more uh, committed to your sadhana and that and accept that everything is all right everything comes and eventually it goes away so you have to grow rather than succumb to the challenges and become go into depression that is what majority of the society goes through so you are coming here you are taken on a challenge for kailash this type of thoughts will come should i or should i not can i or can i not is it in me to do the, do it or not see the world is made up of complementary pairs that is birth and death rich and poor wisdom is accepting them and to get on with life again the same words which is so dear sukha dukha same kritva labha labha same kritva jaya jaya ajaya same kritva na sochati na kankshati same kritva so these are all pairs of opposite sukha dukha is a pair of opposite victory and defeat is a pair of opposite gain and loss is a pair of opposite and these are just few examples given <laughs> but you can see if you are observant you will see the whole world is nothing but opposite man and woman is a opposite left brain right brain is an opposite yin and yang is an opposite ida and pingla is an opposite right hand left hand is an opposite don't get lost in this then you remain in the center and accept that these two these two opposites that the creation is made up of is only a only a what is the word phenomena truth is the constant principle everything that is changing is phenomena and what is the definition of phenomena that which exists in its own absence Oh my God! I gave birth to my children, and they are existing in their own absence. Yes, you who think who gave birth is also existing in his own absence. If you are thinking that you as a body gave birth, ये बड़ा मजेदार है. एक बार इसमें घुस गए ना. Where where did the earth come from? Water. Where did the water come from? <laughs> earth came from water water came from fire fire came from air air came from space and what is space emptiness nothingness out of nothingness this whole creation has come and we are taking it so real and if you want to go further another contemplation there are three types of spaces i think i mentioned one is the outside space then is the mental space and then there is the conscious space so when we go into the gap that is the conscious space mental space is that space where the thoughts are coming and going and the gross space the outside space is that space where the whole creation is expressing itself so what is the source of the creation the gross space what is the source of the gross space the mental space what is the source of the mental space conscious space that i am that i am story over anand aa jayega aise sirf conclusion nahi lana hai bas apne paas wapas aate rehna hai keep coming back to your original true nature these are all triggers to come back to yourself 
देन वॉट डू आई डू विद माई हसबेंड विद माई चिल्ड्रन प्ले द गेम उसको बेवकूफ़ बनाओ बच्चों को बेवकूफ़ बनाओ क्या क्या करना है बेवकूफ़ बना के हंसते खेलते रहो और क्या डोंट टेक एनी थिंग सीरियसली येट डिसिप्लिन देन सी एंड इनकलकेट दीज टाइप ऑफ वैल्यूज इन देम सो दैट दे बिकम इफ दे कम बैक टू बींग इफ दे गेट इंस्पायर टू नो देम सेल्स इन दिस वाइल दे आर यंग दे विल बी अ गुड सिटीजन दे विल बी अ गुड पेरेंट दे विल वॉट एवर दे डेस्टिनी इज फॉर दिस बॉडी टू एक्सप्रेस इट विल एक्सप्रेस बट दे विल नॉट लूज द प्लॉट ऑफ लाइफ वाई देर इज सो मच प्रॉब्लम इन द सोसाइटी बिकॉज नो बडी नोज हाउ टू लिव लाइफ वेदर एज अ ग्रस्ता और एज अ सन्यासी You see all these so-called monks in the Christian tradition. What happened when the uh, Royal Commission was uh, held? So much abuse, and you call yourself a monk? It's pathetic, isn't it? Because foundation is not there. This is the foundation. हम बोलते नहीं जोर जोर से अभी यहाँ पे सिर्फ तुम लोगों इसलिए बोल रहा हूँ कोई गो रहा होता तो नहीं बोल कभी कभी बोल भी देता हूँ पर वो दे अंडरस्टैंड दो कम टू द क्लासेस इंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय द गुरु द शिष्य गोज बियॉन्ड वर्ड्स एंड मर्ज इज इन द ब्रह्मन सो दिस इज द इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज गोइंग ऑन थ्रू दिस टेक्स थ्रू द उपनिषद थ्रू भगवद गीता वेर यू बिकम कंप्लीटली फ्री ऑफ डाउट्स एंड सस्पेशंस अबाउट हु यू आर about what the world is about who the ishwara is about what your sadhana should be and what is what does union between uh, what does self realization mean these four five questions need to be absolutely clear easy mein bhatakte rehte nahi to what should i do what should i not do he told me to do this the, i think i should do this i think i should take to take this mantra i should not take this mantra sab nikal jata hai but you should become a disciple start studying scriptures not haphazardly but take any text start verse by verse understand it listen to some teacher and then take sadhak sanjeevni there is a book called sadhak sanjeevni or gnaneshwari by gnaneshwar maharaj sadhak sanjeevni is by swami ram sukhdas ji from gita press from uh, uh, and he is taken samadhi now and uh, beautiful commentary both of them you take that uh, and read every day one verse or two verses just early in the morning read two <laughs> verses as much as you understand doesn't matter and just spend rest of the day keep contemplating on it every now and then and uh, before you know in one year whole bhagavad gita you have gone through 700 verses then start all over again till now i so many people have started studying that sadhak sanjini or gnaneshwari no person has remained untouched and transformed transformation happens see but you be disciplined that is where the uh, you be committed atman atma vivekena ज्ञानम भवति निर्मलम गुरुना बोधित शिष्य शब्द ब्रह्माति वर्तते वन मोर थॉट इज कमिंग हियर इंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय द गुरु द शिष्य गोज बियॉन्ड वर्ड्स एंड मर्ज इज इन ब्रह्मन नॉर्मली पीपल यू नो इवन इन ब्रह्मचारी जो स्टूडेंट्स या जो क्लासेस में आते हैं वॉट डू वी से हमने भगवद गीता खत्म कर दी हमने उप, तीन उपनिषद खत्म कर दिए सो हैव यू कम हेयर टू कंक्लूड भगवद गीता एंड द उपनिषद और हैव यू स्टडीड भगवद गीता एंड उपनिषद टू कंक्लूड योर सेल्फ खुद को खत्म होना है भगवद गीता को खत्म नहीं करना है <laughs> समझ रहे हो बट रॉन्गली वी यूज द वर्ड्स वी हैव टू डिजोल्व so when the student dissolves the guru appears now the student is he does, he may be uh, still calling himself a disciple of this teacher like shankaracharya like uh, gnaneshwar maharaj 
continuously, even when he is talking about uh, Amrut Anubhav, his experience of realization, he says, without Nivritinath, nothing would have happened. But somewhere in between, very rare places, he says, there is no difference between me and Nivritinath. <laughs> he is me and I am him. See? Natvam deho nendriyani Natvam deho nendriyani Natvam deho nendriyani Natvam deho nendriyani Na prano na mano na dhihi Na prano na mano na dhihi Na prano na mano na dhihi Vikaritvaad vinashitvaad Vikaritvaad Vikaritvaad vinashitvaad Vikaritvaad vinashitvaad Drishyatvaad cha ghato yatha Drishyatvaad cha ghato yatha Natvam deho nendriyani Na prano na mano na dhihi Vikaritvaad vinashitvaad Drishyatvaad cha ghato yatha Natvam deho, the teacher is saying, you are not the body Na indriyani, you are not the senses. Na pranaha, you are not the pranas. Na manaha, you are not the ma mind. Na dhihi, you are not the intellect. Intellect. अरे अभी कुछ मेरे से ले लिया देन हुआ माय हाँ you are the atma. So vikaritvaad, vinashitvaad. What is the nature of these? The, the body, the indriyas, the senses, the pranas, the mind and the intellect. What is their nature? Vikar, Ritwar. They keep modifying. Vikar means modification. They keep modifying. And Vinash, Ritwar. They keep destroying themselves. Every thought that comes, it appears, stays for some time and then dies. The next thought comes, appears, stays, then dies. Similarly, the eyes are seeing, they see, then the moment you blink, the world is, whatever they were seeing is dead. The breath goes in, then again it dies by going out. <coughs> Concepts, as a child I had, I, I could not live without the, the Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> and now I cannot live without something else. My children or my husband or my wife or my house. Or my phone, nowadays phone. <laughs> so, what concept you had as a child, you are not having that concept right now. Hmm? So, everything has changed. Just observe this and accept that this is how our intellect functions. This, our intellect con concepts and conclusions have been changing throughout our life. Our thoughts and emotions have been changing throughout our life. That is mine. Our senses have been changing throughout our life. Hmm? So, Vikaritvat, Vinashitvat, Drishyatvat, Chaghato Yatha, and Kya uh, And just like Drishyatvat, uh, just like the pot, the pot can be made from the mud. Then it stays for some time, then it is destroyed, it goes back to being the mud. Again you can make a pot out of that same mud. Same way the waves, the waves appear out of the water, they stay for some time, they again go back to the water. So what is Vikaritvad and Vinashitvad? The wave is Vikaritvad and Vinashitvad. But the water does not modify, the water does not get destroyed. No, no, but water becomes modified as a uh, wave. But look at it from water's point of view. From water's point of view, there is no wave. From mud's point of view, there is no pot. From gold's point of view, there is no ornament. From your point of view, there is gold and ornament. From your point of view, there is water and wave. Isn't it? So... As a pot which is seen undergoes modification and also is destroyed, 
cannot be you. What is the pot here? Yeah, the, you can take it as a mud pot or this body is also a pot. From childhood till, till now, uh, 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 it, uh, birth, growth, disease, decay and death. This is the change that this body goes through. Birth, growth, disease, decay and death. You cannot escape it. You cannot escape it. <clears throat> this is the, the, the inner program that is that anything that comes into existence has this inner uh, expiry date. It will go to death. Undergoes modif modification and also is destroyed. <laughs> Cannot be you because I don't feel my t childhood is gone but I am continuing to be. Teenage came and went. I am continuing to be. Twenties came and went. I am continuing to be. Now I am in my 30, 40, 50s. I am continuing to be. The body is changing in age, but I have never, with reference to body, I say I am that old, but I never feel that I am changed. You ask my mom, she is 84, she is still, she says, no, no, I am, uh, I am good. <laughs> she can give you, run for your money in your arguments, even today. Banduk leke khadi rehti hai, koi muslim aaya to. TV ke saamne. Isko maro, usko maro. The children who are staying at home with her, you know, she is a force. You know, wo kisi bhi cheez mein uske saath argue kari nahi hai, kyunki mummy has, she is so well read and so much general knowledge, even at her, her age, and she is so productive at her age, that these fellows are, find themselves very lazy and, uh, in a day, they sleep at 10-10 o'clock, and they start their work at 7 o'clock. And the kids are not at 12 o'clock on Saturday Sunday. Yes, Swami Maharaj. Yes, Swami Maharaj. So, here it says, cannot be you, so the individual body, senses, pranas, mind and intellect that are seen, that are destroyed and that are uh, constantly modified cannot be you. Change cannot be you. Modification cannot be you. Come to this conclusion. This is called discrimination. This is called discrimination. That I am that continuous, unchanging Satchidananda, Nitya Shuddha, Buddha, Mukta, Swarup, that is who I am. I am a husband with reference to wife. I am a father with reference to children. I am a son with reference to parents. I am a, a jiva with reference to the body, breath, mind, intellect. Whatever I am in reference to, that reference is changing. All the, all the time, every moment. So come to recognize this. And what do you do in recognition? Just be aware, that's all. Sometimes you'll forget, then again you'll come back. If you attend satsangs, expose yourself to satsang, again and again you will be reminded. Guru is now instructing Shishya that you are not the body or senses or pranas or mind or intelligence. You already saw that. All these are constantly modifying, get destroyed in time and are all objects of knowledge. Body is an object of knowledge. Remember in one of the classes, what did I tell you? This is a camera stand. I know this is a camera stand. What is the third conclusion? No. I am not the camera stand. This is a table. I know this is a table. I am not the table. table. Everything is this. this is the creation. I do know this is a creation. I am not the creation. When it comes to this body, this is a body. I know this is a body. What should be the conclusion? No. I am not the body. But how do we live? I am the body. Inverted experience. That inverted experience is creating all the problems in your life, challenges, confusions, doubts.
so you are observing the breath this is a breath i know this is a breath conclusion should be i am not the breath you know the thoughts are coming and going emotions are coming and going grief is coming and going excitement is coming and going joy and sorrow is coming and going likes and dislikes are coming and going i know they are coming and going i am not them concepts are coming and going i am not them come to this realization abhi not afterwards now while listening andar क्लिक हो जाने दो एक बार अंदर क्लिक हो गया अपने आप सब कुछ चेंज होना शुरू हो जाएगा बट एक बार डीपली इंटेंसली एक्सेप्टेड दैट व्हाट इज बीइंग हर्ड बाय मी व्हाट इज बीइंग टोल्ड बाय द स्क्रिप्चर इज द ट्रुथ इट इज वर्दी टू बी परस्यूड इट इज वर्दी टू बी रिमेंबर्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमेंबर गो वॉन्ट यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू द पास्ट यू रिमेंबर दिस what are puranas puranas are what we call them smriti isn't it what is smriti ved vyas ji remembered what happened in the previous cycle of creation and he brought it to the uh, for the kali yuga for people to uh, be in touch with that knowledge through stories see and what was given to him by narad ji he narad ji didn't tell him that i'll give you all the puranas here you start writing no he gave him only four shlokas of vedanta one day we'll take it and those shlokas are absolute pure vedanta that you are you are the self and in creation is the self in ishwara is the self everything is one and he told him now you expand he says how do i expand by that time ved vyas ji had written the uh, the 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 mahabharata and all that so how do i explain he says you know how to <laughs> he didn't say do this or do that he says you know how to and he sat down and he closed his eyes he chanted he remembered his source how do you remember the source chanting om remember the source uh, and then because narad ji has told me narad ji is that click that knack when you come to know what intuitively what is what you have to do next so he but you don't know how so you become available and he became available and suddenly the downpour of puranas came out of his uh, came out of his pen and he started writing the puranas see okay. so all these are constantly modifying get destroyed in time and are all objects of knowledge objects of knowledge that which is separate from you so world is separate from you this body is also pranas are also thoughts are also emotions are also concepts are also separate from you but how are we living i am that i am this experience oh, such so it was very ecstatic when i was chanting the mantra so you got identified with the mantra you got identified with the emotion you got identified with the experience lost the plot <laughs> but these things happen they will happen you have to maintain a distance from them nahi to phas gaye kis mein siddhiyon mein niklo us mein therefore none of them can be the self i does not have the experience of being objective or modified or being absent so how i can be the body how can i be the body the i does not change i have always remained the same whenever i say i have changed it is always the reference i was happy now i'm sad it is with reference to the mind emotions i was young and i am old it is with reference to the body i was when i was 2 4 year old you know my uncle uh, uh, with this is with reference to the time i has got nothing to do with time it is taking the reference of time and going back into the past so everything whenever we talk about something with reference to something you are not that you are the constant one continuing the seeker needs to contemplate on this this is called mananam reflection 
So what we did in the first meditation, second meditation and the third meditation, that's the foundation. You are not the body, you are the observer. You are not the breath, you are the observer. You are not the thoughts, concepts, you are the observer. Come to be the witnessing consciousness. Come to be the Sakshi. Sakshi is who is not affected by that, is, that which is coming and going. What is coming and going? Body, breath, mind, intellect is coming and going. If you are not affected by body, breath, mind, intellect, you will not be affected by the world also. Jai Bhadman. Then what will you do? You will play the game of life then. Or in fact, I again, I keep saying this, then the game of life will be played through this equipment. Because you are unaffected by anything. Full tilt. Har jaga 100%. Ha ha ho. Kisi ko ro. Sab jaga. You are, because you are not affected. And yet, you are doing what is required to be done. Vishuddham kevalam jnanam Vishuddham kevalam jnanam Vishuddham kevalam jnanam Vishuddham kevalam jnanam Nirvishesham niranjanam Nirvishesham niranjanam Nirvishesham niranjanam Nirvishesham niranjanam Yadekam paramanandam Yadekam paramanandam Yadekam paramanandam Yadekam paramanandam Tattva masyadvayam param Tattva masyadvayam param Tattva masyadvayam param Tattva masyadvayam param Vishuddham kevalam jnanam That which is now here, the definition of this one, this I, which is not the body, breath, mind, intellect, this I, which is not the changing principle, what is it then? That's the question of the student. So the teacher is saying, it is vishuddham, it is kevalam, it is jnanam, it is nirvishesham, it is niranjanam, it is ekam, it is paramanandam, it is uh, tattvamasa ad, advayam param. It is beyond all duality. This is the definition. These are the adjectives used. About whom? About you, your essence. So here it says, that which is ever pure, without attributes, without any blemish, which is absolute consciousness, which is one without a second, which is full supreme, all full supreme bliss, that thou art, that you are. Really? Thoda kam bolo, itna mat bolo. You are making me too happy now. <laughs> but that is what it is. This is what your true nature is. Here, Vivek Akhyati is complete. Vivek means, remember what we started, Atma Anatma Vivek? When this Atma Anatma Vivek reaches its zenith, its climax, this is, this is the conclusion you come to. Because now you have given zero value to that which is modifying, that which is changing, and you are, you are being the unchanging. And what is this unchanging? This unchanging, just like eyes are seeing, but you cannot see the eyes. Similarly, the eye cannot see the eye. Then what is it? Here, the scriptures and masters come to our help. What is that? It is that the teacher tells the shishya that you, because still he is having doubt, that I am not able to, I was able to objectify the body, breath, mind, intellect and the creation, but I am not able to objectify myself. I have lived my life with objectification. And I want to use the same rule in respect to the I. It is not going to be possible. Whenever you become, you want to objectify the I, you want to think about that, two things happen. Either you go into samadhi or you go into sleep. Every night you go to sleep because you forget you are the I. It's too much to handle. So here, teacher is telling that you are the one without the second knowledge itself, without blemish and attributes, no modifications, no quality. That what did we say? Our uh, Paramatma or Brahman or Bhagwan, we have it in three ways. Nirgun, Nirakar is the ultimate. What is Nirgun? without any qualities and attributes. 
and nirakar without any form. When you come to this without any attributes and without any blemish, nirgun nirakar is the nature of Atma. Then you come down one level. Nirakar but sagun nirakar. That is without form but with attributes. This, play, this particular thing is called as Ishwara. Now that one without a second has now come, come down as Ishwara with guna, with attributes. Then you come down one more level, that Saguna Sakar, with attributes and with form. So what Bhagwan you see is with form and with attributes. What is his? So whom do you see? Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. Who is his source? The Ishwara. Who is his source? It's not that he has come out of it. It is the same one which is expressing as all. In this manner, uh, contemplate. You are the infinite one, wherein the other is impossible. Yad ekam. You are the one. There is no otherness possible. From water's point of view, there is no otherness of ocean. There is no otherness of wave. There is no otherness of tide. There is no otherness of tsunami. From oceans, water's point of view, everything is water. From space point of view, there is no otherness of air, fire, water, earth and the creation. From space point of view, space is all that there is. If you want to know how much is the how much area the total creation is occupying in the total space. Have you ever thought about it? Space is continuously expanding, isn't it? And continuously collapsing. It's collapsing, they, they say, in the black holes. But at other places, it's continuously expanding. You will experience that when you walk around the Kainash. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the whole thing just keeps expanding. You feel, you know, Dimak halka ho jata ekdam. So, from space point of view, how much space is occupied by the uh, the creation, the name and form? How much? Remember, Nagaraj. Samjhi yahan pe hawa oxygen kam hai, kuch samajh nahi aara. Our Vishnu Puran tells, or the whole creation is only a dot on the right toenail of Lord Narayana. That much space it is occupying. So how much how much grossness is occupied? How much space it is occupying in the total space? Only a insignificant dot, total creation. In that total creation, you are, you are an insignificant person. And we are living with such a big ego. <laughs> so here he's saying, you are the infinite one. The otherness is impossible. So don't give validity to otherness. Give validity to inclusiveness. That one alone is expressing everywhere. And hence, additions and subtractions make no difference to you. So, just like there, the addition of waves and subtraction of waves makes no difference to water. If you take it another way, evaporation of so much water from the ocean and pouring of so many rivers into the ocean, ocean remains, the total waters remain the same, isn't it? Same way, we should not get affected by addition of thoughts and subtraction of thoughts. Appearance of waking and dream is addition of thoughts. Deep sleep is <coughs> deletion of thoughts. We should not get affected by them. If someone, kisi ko aao mat kaho, kisi ko jao mat kaho. If anyone comes into your life, welcome. If someone goes, in, goes out of your life, so be it. You don't get affected. There is nothing for you to do or achieve, to do anything in this life or achieve in this life other than being the pure consciousness. Continuing, 
in normal gnana one is at the level of the mind which is dis- undisturbed by rajas tamas in activity and inertia however the sadhaka now has given up association with the prakriti and has merged in purusha prakriti was body breath mind intellect and he is abiding in his essential nature that is the purusha prakriti was modifying purusha is unmodifying he is the constant and that you are see so don't give don't get caught up in too much of thought knowledge if you get caught up in thought knowledge there will always be questions even after you have studied all the scriptures and you have done everything but not realized questions will still appear because it was only at thought level it was finite knowledge at thought level you can only gain finite knowledge you are the infinite knowledge you are the all knowing principle so don't become a slave of thought knowledge recognize and start working towards being that infinite knowledge and who is that infinite knowledge the purusha this purusha is the satchidanand swarup existence consciousness and bliss he is the and then purusha self is vishuddha vishuddha means ever pure or extremely <coughs> pure there is no trace of blemish of otherness there are no differences in this purusha there is no sense of otherness in this purusha there, there is no duality in this purusha this purusha is ekameva dvitiya one without a second in this knowledge there is no triputi of no or non knowing in the first or second class i told you every thought appears in our mind because of three ingredients subject object and instrument of knowledge <coughs> subject object instrument of knowledge if these three if one thing is missing if the world is missing thought cannot appear if instrument is missing thought cannot appear if subject is missing thought cannot appear so in this knowledge there is no triputi when the self comes to be the self there is no thought triput thought is uh, there is no uh, what did i say before there is no utilization of thoughts to know that i am the self there is no medium of thoughts required so if medium of thoughts is required then your conclusion will be i think therefore i am but what is the truth i am therefore thinking happens this is what is being told here the there is no triputi of no or known knowledge as he is knowledge itself and not knowledge of something you are chit your consciousness consciousness means knowledge and what are we doing by asking questions we are outsourcing the knowledge to the thoughts thoughts can never come to give you complete knowledge because they are fleeting they come and go then who, how will you come to have the complete knowledge by being the consciousness this click has to happen somewhere somewhere on this journey each word is a pointer in meditation and sadhaka should reflect on them vishuddham is a pointer kevalam is a pointer gnanam is a pointer nirvishesham it's all about we are talking about you you are nirvishesh you are niranjanam free of blemish yade kam you are one without a second you are parmanandam you are infinite bliss tatvam you are the essence advayam you are beyond all duality and you are param you are the transcendental principle or purusha this is your reality this is who you essentially are grasp it realize it discover it be it om purnamada purnamedam purnat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha 
Hari Om. You sit quietly for a moment. Are you? Mm.